Hi everyone, Ron Kreider here. I'm out and about checking on this tropical storm. Here's the latest information as of 1045 on Saturday morning. Uh, peak winds are expected to be somewhere between 30 to 35 miles per hour with gusts as much as 50 miles per hour. The track is still somewhat uncertain. I have a piece of video coming up here now from the National Hurricane Center to give you an idea of what's going on. If you look at the little bit of yellow up there on the screen, you'll see that's kind of where we are. And that's a tropical storm watch that w that's in effect. The darker color is a tropical storm warning. All right, so let's go to the National Hurricane Center and they'll give you an update right about now. We have the latest advisor here from the Hurricane Center. 40 miles per hour in the wind speed, much like we suggested last hour, we were getting some observations in the Cayman Islands that did indeed suggest that uh, it is a tropical storm, 40 miles per hour. Moving, look at this, moving northeast at 17 miles per hour. This thing is flying by right now. And that means that the impacts uh, will be arriving sooner rather than later. This is the cone, the newest one from the Hurricane Center. And you can see that, uh, there we go. It uh, keeps it, I'm looking at this for the first time, just like you. Uh, keeps it as tropical storm strength. I don't think much has changed on the intensity or the track, really. Hurricane Center has been very consistent on that all along. And uh, do expect the impacts to last a while. I mean, look at when it makes the curve, right? Uh, say Monday morning, it begins to turn toward the west across the Florida Keys or, or South Florida with impacts course outside of the cone and then going northward and maybe even not even by Thursday uh, into the northern Gulf Coast. Alrighty folks here's some video I shot earlier this morning from the Victoria here in Vero Beach at Indian River Shores. Just a reminder we could have winds as high as 57 miles an hour. If you have anything on your patio that's likely to be blowing around and it's not heavy I suggest you probably be a good idea if you bring it in. If we get any gusts up to 50 miles an hour can move a lot of things on that patio. As more information becomes available, I will bring it to you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching the video.